can say being a religious i have many opportunities to touch the lives of people and get fulfilled personally and of course this brings a lot of peace happiness and health so this is the secret of my life and i suppose this is the same experience of many of my sisters meet sister elin the provincial superior for the salesian missionaries of mary immaculate based in bangalore india she has been a sister for nearly 50 years my congregation gave me various opportunities to work among the children to work among women to work in the missions so i was sent out to andhra pradesh that's a different neighboring state so i worked for nearly 7 years i came to bellary diocese adjutant diocese of andhra 12 years i worked almost 20 years i was out of my state but i was very happy i had the opportunity to learn different languages i speak my mother tongue is kannada i learned tamil i learned telugu i learned a bit of hindi it's a national language of india i can say i was happy to proclaim good news of jesus in different languages i wrote I spoke I sang Now as the provincial superior of her community Sister Eileen works hard with the help of the pontifical mission societies to bring along new candidates for religious life as Salesian missionaries We have 54 novices We need formation because we need sisters We need to serve our children because we want to educate them We want to make them self sufficient self dependent we have received from the propagation of faith we have received from the holy childhood we have also sent peter's pens so we are happy and grateful for all that is done through us to people to children to the formation many of the novices under sister elaine's tutelage came to the sisters first as poverty-stricken orphans or from single parent families going from primary school to high school and then on to college level studies along the way some of them decide to join the sisters but sister elin herself came from a family that was not poor her parents did not expect that she would become a religious sister so when i told my parents that i like to offer myself into religious life they said it's very strange it is unknown to us and you being the first daughter of the family and first granddaughter of the family we prefer to see you married it was not very really easy when you don't have anything there is nothing to give okay but when you have everything to give away and to make a sacrifice it is difficult but i did it because i knew for whom for what i am doing this sacrifice sister elaine's community of more than 180 nuns covering eight central indian states recently rededicated itself to the poorest of the poor especially women they call it a radical discipleship of mary mother of god for sister elaine mary's example has been her guide from the beginning of her call to become a sister I left home 1964. I had all the trainings of the candidate ship plus the novitiate. Then 1967 I was professed. So when I came to this Bangalore convent, I saw Mother Mary's beautiful statue. I was praying very much to Mother Mary to accompany me in my decision. By myself, I'm weak. I'm not able to do. But with the help of God and with the accompaniment of Mother Mary, following her ways, her poverty, her humility, her docility, her willingness to do God's will, that impressed me. I said, I want to be like her, embracing everybody, the poor, those who are in need. So I wanted to show the mercy and the compassion of Mother Mary 
to humanity. And I am happy till this day for having been a religious. <laughs>